Let's take a closer look now at Conan O'Brien's deal and what comes next for NBC and everyone else. Joining us now from Los Angeles, Nelly Andreva. She's the TV editor for The Hollywood Reporter and has been following the story from the very beginning. Nelly, welcome to Bloomberg News. Thanks for staying with us. Nice to be here. Uh, this is, it, it seems, at least the way Conan and Jay have been talking about it, that it's not very complicated, but this is a pretty, co pretty complicated settlement, isn't it? It is. It took a long, long time for the fine print to be worked out. The main points actually are simple. It just came down to a lot of little details, but the, the main points are simple. Uh, there's only seven months that Conan cannot uh, be on a different network. That's the, the time he needs to spend away. And he got a pretty big check and also <laughs> um, same for, for his staff members. That was important to him. Uh, was, it, was it key, at least here, for NBC to at least try to, try to cut its losses and, and, and at least understand that they thought that Conan was going to say, okay, I'll go to 12.05, but Conan said, no, I'm not, because it would, in effect, destroy the Tonight Show franchise. Yes, it was, uh, just came down to cutting uh, their losses. Um, at 10 o'clock, the uh, primetime show with Jay Leno did not work. They were losing a lot of money because of the low ratings. The affiliates were hurt really bad. They were threatening to preempt the uh, um, Jay Leno show at 10 o'clock, and The Tonight Show was down down from uh, what uh, NBC was getting when Jay Leno was in charge. So they were down across the board. They had to do something. They had those really expensive deals with both Jay Leno and Conan O'Brien. They wanted to keep them both, and obviously it became really crowded in late night, and something gotta go and uh, and in this case Conan just did not want it, want to move the Tonight Show and for him his dream was to be on the Tonight Show and to have the show at 1130 the way the show has been for the past 60 years. And Nelly so I guess the question now of course is what next for Conan if the seven months are up if you look at the timing here perfect time for him to come back in the fall but where is he going to show up Fox has been talked about but what about cable as well? Yes, Fox seems to be the most logical uh, way for him to go. Uh, it is very similar setting. It's a, a daily late night talk show. Um, the challenge is that uh, Fox has never been successful in that area and it's tough to launch a brand new show. And there's a lot to be worked out with the affiliates. You know, the affiliates were behind uh, all the problems, a lot of the problems that NBC had with the Jay Leno show. So Fox has to be careful dealing with its own affiliates and getting them on board for this. The affiliates now get 100% of their revenue from that 11 o'clock hour where they have long-term deals for some off-network shows like uh, Two and a Half Men and The Simpsons, and then they will have to share revenue for something that is more expensive like a late night uh, talk show. On the other hand, cable could be, you don't have the visibility you have in, in broadcast, but cable could be a good way to go. Bill Maher has been successful after his show was uh, canceled on ABC. He went to HBO and is pretty successful. HBO is said to be uh, among the uh, possible suitors uh, along with Showtime and all the biggies like FX, uh, USA, um, uh, right. Comedy Central or, uh, or TNT. Right. Um, that could be another way for him to go, yes. Nelly, we have about a minute left. Um, how does this mm -hmm. all pan out for Jay Leno? What happens to him? Are folks going to go back to his show at 1130? Will Jay get his old viewers back? Uh, NBC certainly hopes so, uh, and most analysts say that uh, it will take a while, he will take a hit, but gradually things will go back to normal. Um, I mean, David Letterman probably is just having the time of his life. It's <laughs> been it's such a turmoil at NBC, and CBS has been the big winner both in primetime and late night, and uh, NBC is just fingers crossed right. that it will go away and viewers will come back. Nelly Andreva of The Hollywood Reporter joining us from our bureau in Los Angeles. Nelly, thanks. We appreciate it.